Hello and welcome to Two Minutes of Anatomy. I am Dr. Donald Ozello of Championship Chiropractic in Las Vegas, Nevada. The posterior tibial nerve is the name given to the distal end of the tibial nerve. This is not a branch of the tibial nerve and there is no anterior tibial nerve. But the posterior tibial nerve is a name you'll see in some textbooks. In some textbooks, you may see it referred to as the tibial nerve, but the posterior tibial nerve is the distal end. It is a continuation of the tibial nerve. It is not its own structure. It is called the posterior tibial nerve due to its clinical significance. The posterior tibial nerve is susceptible to entrapment in the tarsal tunnel, which is named tarsal tunnel syndrome. The tibial nerve runs under the arch of the soleus and continues distally to descend posterior to the medial malleolus, where it earns the name of the posterior tibial nerve, and it continues into the foot as the medial and lateral plantar branches. Just distal to the tarsal tunnel, the posterior tibial nerve gives off its terminal branches, the medial and lateral plantar nerves, which continue to supply motor and sensory innervation to the plantar aspect of the foot. The medial plantar nerve travels deep to the abductor hallucis to branch into the common plantar and eventually the proper plantar digital nerves to the first through fourth digits. The lateral plantar nerve travels obliquely to the lateral side of the foot deep to the flexor digitorum brevis and superficial to the quadratus plantae muscles. This nerve gives off a deep branch which supplies the deep muscles of the foot as well as the superficial branch as it continues coursing laterally. The superficial branch of the lateral plantar nerve terminates as common and proper plantar digit nerve supplying the fourth and fifth digits.